Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Happy, glorious Monday morning to you all. I give glory to God for another opportunity he has given to us again to be accounted among the living. May his name be praised. You are there hearing the sound of my voice. I just want you to take a few minutes to appreciate the name of the Most High God. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. By his grace, we are already on the 30th of the month of January. Just drive back to the, from the beginning till today. You will see that there are a lot of persons that have departed. So you that is alive, I just want you to give glory to God. Magnify his name. Exalt his holy name. Because there is none like him. There is not to be compared unto him. Give him praise for the lives of your children, for the lives of your husbands, for your own life in person. For his grace that has been enabling you to push on the assignment that God has given to you. Give him praise this morning for that business of yours that he has granted you grace to you for you to be able to continue doing it. And magnify his name. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory, honor, and adoration. May your name be praised in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's on our segment of Begin Daily with Christ. Begin your day with Christ. That is what I have come on your way to encourage you this morning. As you woke up this morning, begin your day with Christ. So that the Holy Spirit will take in charge of everything. The Holy Spirit will be your speaker. It will be your director. It will be your instructor. By the time the Holy Spirit takes his position in your life, there is an assurance that you are returning back home with testimony. There is an assurance you are leaving your home with peace. In respect of whatsoever you are passing through, irrespective of the circumstances or the difficulties, there is an assurance because he's going to make you to remember the thought of God concerning your life. He's going to remind you of the thought of God concerning your life. So as a child of God, it is good daily as you live for you to begin your day with Christ. Everything that you're going to do, hand over it to the one that knows how to do it best. Hand over it to the Holy Spirit spirit so that you will not make mistake is it the life of your children begin your day with him by hand over in their life to him is it your business begin your day with christ by hand over in your your business to him is it the assignment that god has given to you you can't do it without the holy spirit so as you woke up in this morning begin your day with him so that he will direct you do you want to take a new decision yes the year is still fresh some person might want to start a new business Without the Holy Spirit, you're going to make a mistake. It might be that to your wisdom, that business you want to embark on, you thought is the right thing for you. But by the time you daily begin your day with Christ, the Holy Spirit will give you a sign. Whether what you are about to do, give glory to your Father. So I encourage you, daily as you live, always begin your day with Christ. Hallelujah. The brief topic I, I brought before us this morning is titled, Surely there is an end. Hallelujah. Surely there is an end to everything in life. Let's quickly take it from the book of Proverbs 23, verse 18. Let's see what the Bible said from King James Version. It said, For surely there is an end, and the expectation shall not be cut off. It says, Surely there is an end. Your expectation shall not be cut off. This month is just a battle end now. We started it 30 days ago. What is coming to an end? And so we've just begun the new year 2023. It's still very fresh. But a day will come where we'll be getting prepared to say Happy New Year to each other. So in anything you're doing in life, anything that is happening to you in life, as far as you have started, there is surely an end. If you're an athletic person that do athletic, there is always an end to the race. When you start the race, you're not going to be running it 24 hours. An hour will come that it will be an end. So I want to encourage you this morning. It might be that this month of January is the month that a lot of things happen to you that you were asking yourself, where is God? I encourage you as the month is coming to an end, so also that which that happens to you or that is still happening to you will come to an end. It might be that you face disappointment. It might be that the job didn't come. It might be that ah. You regretted because of a lot of things. It might be that your marriage did not work. My sister, my brother, hearing the sound of my voice, you have hope. 
Because the Bible said, surely there is an end. There is an end to that sickness. There is an end to that pain. There is an end to that disappointment. As as he has begun, it will surely come to an end in the name of Jesus. And he went for that to say, he said, your expectation shall not be cut off. Whenever you find yourself in the midst of a, a dry bone, your expectation should be there is an end. If that is always your expectation, the Bible said, ah, he said it will not be cut off. That means that your expectation will surely manifest. When you find yourself in the sick bed, yeah. let your mindset be, I know my Redeemer healer. He will heal me. And that expectation will not be cut off. A day will come, it will become a story. A day will come, you will not be using it to make example. A day will come, you will not realize that it was a message that God gave to you for you to encourage others. By the time they are passing through what you went through. Is it that you are seeking for the fruit of the womb for a long period of time? My sister, the Bible rightly stated it. He said there is an end. A day is going to come. That womb that the doctor said that they cannot carry a baby. It's going to shoot out and people are going to tell you congratulations. When it's happening like that, look at yourself and say that when God created me, he made me with everything I am fruitful. This is in on barrenness. This is in that Pelina is smoking at me. My Bible told me there is an end. There is an end. And he told me that the expectation will not be cut off. Is it that your marriage is not working well? My God, the Bible said the day will come that contract of disagreement in your home will come to an end. Is it that you are not stable spiritually? The Bible said there is an end. Is it that your children are giving you problems? The Bible said a day is going to come that their attitude is going to expire and they are going to come up with a kingdom attitude. So I encourage you this morning. Put on a dancing shoe and dance and give glory to God. Smile and look at yourself and say, I have hope because there is an end. Smile and talk to God this morning and said, I know that my Redeemer live it. This contract will come to an end. So if you have this mindset, believe me, every day of your life there will be joy in your heart. So begin your day with Christ so the Holy Spirit can always remind you that there is an end to what you're going through. That God Almighty, that He will not allow your expectation to come to an end. He will surely bring it to pass. Why did I believe? Because it's not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Whatsoever he says, that is what he will do. You just began a new week. What are your expectations? He said, your expectation shall not be cut off. And as you begin your day with Christ daily, you will live to testify in the name of Jesus. Let us have a word of prayer. So our glorious and faithful Father, everlasting King of glory, we thank you, we bless you, we give you glory. We honor you this morning for this great opportunity you've given to us to be accounted among the living. Lord, we say, may your name be exalted and glorified and adore in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Adonai, we have heard your word. Your word that we have heard, oh God, King of glory, Jehovah, let it be part and parcel of us. You have told us there is an end. I decree and I declare, as the months come to an end, Amalashuyan to proceed Kapalakota him. Whatsoever that needed to come to an end, we end instantaneously. The symptom of sickness we end. The symptom of delay we end. The disappointment comes to an end. Inability to rise come to an end. In the name of Jesus, every of your expectation that gives glory to God will not be cut off according to His word. In the name of Jesus, as you go out there, the protection of God will rest upon you. You will not fall a victim of accident. You will not fall a victim of kidnappers. In the name of Jesus Christ, your children are saved. They are protected. As they go back to school, the wisdom of God will be seen in their life. They shall be different. They will go out there as an ambassador. They will go out there as the light of God, as the, Jesus has called them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And whatsoever God 
has not permitted to cross over with you to the month of February. I delete it away from your life. In the name of Jesus, you are crossing over to the month of February with blessings from above. In the name of Jesus, you shall smile. The month of February shall be better than the month of January. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious Father. For in Jesus' glorious name, we pray this morning with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. God bless you all in Jesus' name. My wonderful mommy Agatha. Thank you, mommy Betty. Pastor Gloria, thank you very much for taking our time to do life with me this morning. May God Almighty honor you all in Jesus' name. I love every one of you. Bye for now.